we are back with another one and today we're gonna be burning Zack Snyder's Justice League the movie that they say is like four hours long I don't know but we want to make a shadow box of the Justice League so we're gonna start off by making sure our glass is wiped clean with a microfiber towel this is another insert that we got from Ace Hardware like three or four bucks so if you're looking to have multiple inserts for your shadow box Y'all go hit up Ace Hardware. They got your glass. They got your glass ready for you. So we're gonna start off by hitting this piece of glass with one coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss White Paint. We're gonna start at the bottom, overlapping coats all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna come back down and that's what we're gonna do right now. Make sure your paint is shook up very well. All the way to the top. All the way to the top, tippy top, overlapping coat. We're gonna make our way back down. That looking good. There we go. All right, guys, we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss of Black. All right, guys, we're back, and our coat of white is dry. It's been about two hours. Now we're gonna hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. We're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up to the top. Just a nice overlapping coat. Fast coat, not too fast. Just a nice coat of black. Overlapping all the way to the top. There we go. That's our coat of black. We're gonna let it dry while it's drying. We're gonna go ahead over here and gimp and we're gonna prep our photo. So y'all stick around, it's gonna be an amazing burn. All right guys, this is the image that we chose to do today. Zack Snyder's The Justice League. Only thing we're gonna do to this image is hit the big gimp and plug in on it. And we're gonna be running, so something different. So everybody say, why you don't use pass-through? Why you don't use pass-through? So um, today I'm gonna be using pass-through. But instead of 600 DPI, I'm gonna do the DPI that I normally do in uh, light burn. I'm gonna hit it at 254. It should shorten the burn. Um, we're gonna be doing two. We're gonna do 285 this time instead of 280. So a little bit over 11 um, inches. Um, the frame is a 12 by 12, so we're gonna do it like uh, 11 inches, a couple notches, whatever you want to call it. So it's gonna be 285 by 285 just so we can have a border all the way around it. We're gonna hit OK, make sure tile is selected. We're gonna hit OK. Boom, let it do its thing. We're gonna hit control and the mouse wheel. That's the image right there. We're gonna go to file. We're gonna go to export as. And we're gonna say, we're gonna call it JL, Justice League. We're gonna go to desktop, GIMP photos. We're gonna hit export. Make sure your quality is at 100%. Then we're gonna hit export. And that's it. We're gonna be burning the Justice League. We're gonna load it into light burn, wait for our glass to finish drying. Then we're gonna start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, so we got our image loaded into light burn. And you can tell a little difference. So we already know, change the width and height to 285 by 285 which is 11 and some change. Um, so we can have a border around. But what is interesting, if you go to your cuts and layers tab. All right, so we're gonna be running 3000 speed. We're gonna be using 44.5% power. Um, but we're gonna be using pass through. Pass through, normally I will have a 600 DPI when I'm running GIMP, but instead I changed it to 254, which will dramatically change your burn time so my normal burn time for these was like over four hours um but now we're gonna go to preview and our burn time is two hours and 54 minutes that's a fast one two hours and 54 minutes for you know just by changing um changing your status in uh in gimp changing your dpi in gimp but we're gonna go back and we're gonna see if we turn pass through off and we use Jarvis 
We're gonna see what our burn time is. Four hours and 27 minutes. But it looks better. Ah, it looks better. Look at that, that looks. Oh, uh, let's go back, let's go back. We gotta go back, we gotta go back. We're gonna turn pasture on. Uh. Nah, y'all, I know I said I was gonna use pass through. I lied, I'm sorry, I tried, I tried my best. Um, and, and certain, nah, I just can't do it. Certain situations just stopping me from doing it. I know my time is, my burn time is gonna be a little longer, but overall, to me, You know what? Sh screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do pass through. I don't want to, but for the sake of science, let's do pass through. You know what I mean? Three hour burn. Let's hit invert. We'll run it like this just to see. You know what I mean? If it's horrible, y'all blame me. But you know, this gotta be an amazing burn. This gotta be an amazing burn. There's no. There's no, no, yeah, there's no way this can't be. So it's going to be an amazing burn. Y'all stick around. I'm going to load everything up. Um, as our piece of glass dries, I'm going to set everything up. And this is going to be an amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. We got everything set up. We're burning Zack Snyder's Justice League. Before I start this thing, I want to say thank you all for subscribing to my channel, for liking my channel, for sharing it, and for dropping me a comment. This is going to be an amazing burn. Everything we use to make this video will be in the description description section. We're doing a Justice League shadow box. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hit shift and frame and make sure that we have everything lined up. And it is looking good. We're using pass through. Hopefully we get an amazing burn. Whatever it may be, it's going to be an amazing burn. Let's start this thing. I'm gonna go